One morning in the year 2000, two-year-old James Leininger woke up from a vivid nightmare and started telling his parents about a man named Lieutenant James McCready Huston. It's normal for kids to have nightmares, isn't it? James' mum and dad, Andrea and Bruce thought so. And one like their sons wouldn't have normally worried them. Only, as far as they both knew, James had never met or heard of this man before. No one had, he was or W-2 fighter pilot who died on the 3rd of March, 1945. Just after his second birthday, James, started having night terrors that he was in a plane that got shot down and crashed into the water, and that he couldn't get out, Andrea said on Fox Morning Television in 2013. And his actions would mimic those of somebody who was trying to get out of something, as if he was trapped in the box and trying to kick his way out. Then came the drawings. At three, James began drawing pictures of fighter jets and battles, signing them off as James III, even though he hadn't yet learned to write his name. He could also list off the names of his fellow pilots and the name of the ship his jet took off from. It was only after some research that James' parents realized their toddler was recalling details of WW2 battles as if they were his own memories as if he was there. Reincarnation, or having a past life, is for many just a myth. For some, it's part of their religion and for others, like James and his family, it's a reality. Researchers have studied young children's reports of past life memories for the last 45 years, with over 2,500 cases having been investigated worldwide, the children's report of past life memories, a review report. More common in countries with cultural beliefs around reincarnation, like India, Sri Lanka, Turkey, Lebanon, Thailand and Myanmar, reports of reincarnation have also surfaced in Europe and America. While it's not uncommon for children to share stories that did add up or have been concocted in their overactive imaginations, there are cases for which reincarnation is the only explanation that makes any sort of sense. Stories like these. When he was one and a half, Sam Taylor looked up as his father was changing his diaper and said, when I was your age, I used to change your diapers. He began talking more about having been his grandfather. He eventually told details of his grandfather's life that his parents felt certain he could not have learned through normal means, such as the fact that his grandfather's sister had been murdered and that his grandmother had used a food processor to make milkshakes for his grandfather every day at the end of his life. The University of Virginia. When Cameron McCauley was six, he drew pictures of a single-story house next to the beach on the Scottish island of Barra, but were from Glasgow. Virtually the third word that came out of my son's mouth was back.